All right, welcome back. I just want to go over another example in this video using Ohm's law to solve for the current in a circuit. So in this circuit, we have one single voltage source and three resistors in series. And let's say that the voltage source here is 36 volts and that R1 is, let's say two ohms. Let's say R2 is four ohms and that R3 is three ohms. So we need to get the equivalent resistance of the whole circuit, and it is just equal to the sum of the three resistances, which is just two plus four plus three, and that gives us nine ohms. So we can redraw the circuit with the equivalent resistance if we would like to help visualize the problem. So we have 36 volts and nine ohms. So then we take Ohm's law, which is V equals IR, and we're just going to rearrange for I. Now looking at the current, it is going clockwise around the loop like this. We're talking about conventional current here, so it likes to flow from the positive terminal around the circuit back to the negative terminal of the battery. So we can rearrange for I, and we're just going to have voltage over resistance, and we have our total voltage, which is 36 volts, divided by our equivalent resistance, which is nine ohms. And 36 divided by four means that our current is just going to be four amps. Okay, cool. Um, while we're here, let's just change the numbers and just do another example using the same circuit. So let's maybe update the voltage here and say that it's actually, let's say it's a 48 volt battery. And let's say that instead R1 is going to be 12 ohms, R2 is going to be 14 ohms, and R3 is going to be Let's make it easy, 13 ohms. So we would have to update our equivalent resistance here. So 12 plus 14 plus 13 is 39 volts. And then we can update everything in here as well. So we would have 48 volts and 39 ohms. And then for our expression down here, we could just update these values as well. So we'd have 48 volts divided by 39 ohms, and that would give us a value of about 1.23 amps. So you could do this for any type of problem like this where there is a single voltage source and just resistors in series. All we have to do is find the equivalent resistance and then just use Ohm's law V equals IR, rearrange it for the current, and we're able to figure it out, basically no matter what combination of voltage source and resistors were given. Okay, um, join me in the next video, and we'll go over a similar example, but with parallel resistors.